So today, wala tayong ibang pag-uusapan kundi gulong. So the points that we will cover today is yung mga indicators as to when to replace your tires at kapag magpapagit ka na, saan nga ba natin may kita yung manufacture date para masigurado natin na okay yung gulong na binibigyan natin. And pag-uusapan din natin yung mga ibang tire codes o yung mga hieroglyphics na nakikita natin sa gigit ng mga gulong natin and what does it do for us bilang mga motorista and the couple of safety tips para siguradong okay yung gulong ng mga motor natin. What's up mga brother? Ako nga pag si Juan ng Motor ni Juan at welcome back sa channel na naman natin. So today, wala tayong ibang pag-uusapan kundi gulong. So the points that we will cover today is yung mga indicators as to when to replace your tires at kapag magpapagit ka na, saan nga ba natin may kita yung manufacture date para masigurado natin na okay yung gulong na binibigyan natin. And pag-uusapan din natin yung mga ibang tire codes o yung mga hieroglyphics na nakikita natin sa gigit ng mga gulong natin and what does it do for us bilang mga motorista and the couple of safety tips para siguradong okay yung gulong ng mga motor natin. Pero bago tayo magsimula, please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe and hit that notification bell mga brad so that you will be updated with all of the videos na nire-release natin para sa inyo. Para masigurado natin na maintindihan natin yung mga terms at yung mga pinag-uusapan natin dito, Uh, Pag-usapan muna natin yung three terms that I think it's important for us to remember para hindi tayo mawala habang nag-uusap tayo. First is tread. Tread, simply put, ito yung part ng gulong natin na sumasayad sa kalsada. Yun yun. Yun, yun yung pinakasimpling definition nun. Another one is the bead. Ang bead naman is the part of the motorcycle tire na nakakabit dun sa wheel. Dun sa nakadikit. At Sidewall, sa madaling salita, ito yung gigit ng gulong, ito yung nagdudugtong sa bid, at saka sa tread, at doon natin may kita yung mga codes na pag-uusapan naman natin mamaya. Okay, so umpisahan natin. Unang tanong natin, kailan nga ba talaga tayo dapat magpagit ng gulong? When do we replace our tires? Apart from the obvious reasons, katulad itong mga to, sidewall puncture, butas na 0.25 inch, 10-year-old tires, cracked around the circumference, may mga hiwa or slices, or uneven na yung gulong. Eh, kailangan na rin namang pagitan kapag yung treadwear indicator ng gulong natin eh visible na or nakikita na. Speaking of treadwear indicator, saan nga ba nakikita sa gulong at paano natin malaman if we already have to replace our tires? Ito yun. Yung treadwear indicators mga brad, these are pointers or sometimes arrows that's located sa sidewall or sa gilid ng mga gulong natin. And sa katapat nun, sa katapat na thread nun, dun natin may kita yung mga indicators na yun. Kung susundan natin yung arrows or yung pointers ng treadwear indicator papunta dun sa thread niya, makikita natin sa mga grooves or sa linya ng mga gulong natin yung mga small bumps na tinatawag. Etong mga bumps na to is a representation kung gaano kasagad pwedeng mapudpud yung mga gulong natin. Which is, which is usually around 1mm to 1.6mm by industry standards. Pero personally for me, hindi na natin papaabutin yun kasi masyado ng manipis yun. 2mm would be an indicator already that we should be replacing our tires. So usually may measuring tool yan para masukat yung kapag ng gulong natin from the groove to the thread. Pero karamihan sa atin, wala naman talaga tayong tools na ganun. Meron tayong tinatawag na piso technique. So gagawin lang natin, kukuha tayo ng 1 peso coin. And then ilagay lang natin siya sa groove na yung year ng coin is nasa baba or nasa bottom. If we can just partially see the year of the coin that's indicated there, ibig sabihin, okay pa yung gulong natin. Pero kung kitang-kita mo na yung taon na naka-indicate sa barya or sa piso natin, it just goes to show na yung gulong natin, pagiti na. And the little side information, mga brother, itong mga groves or yung mga guhit sa mga gulong natin, 
these are not just designs or made for traction. In fact, kahit naman anong gulong, basta goma yan, magpo-provide yan ng traction. The groves or these lines sa mga gulong natin is really made to expel water para dun magpo-flow yung tubig to avoid hydroplaning. Ano yung hydroplaning? Ito yung dahil pag-pass through mo ng tubig, dahil walang lugar yung tubig na mag-flow dun sa gulong mo, it will result to our bikes uh, skidding uncontrollably. So, dun tayo nawawala ng control. So, after checking yung treadwear indicator at yung mga iba pang simptomas, kung kailan papalitan na yung gulong and we found out that we already have to replace our tires, kailangan nating maintindihan yung mga tire codes sa sidewall ng gulong para mas makasigurado tayo that the tires that we will be buying are perfect at safe para sa mga motorsiklo natin. Umpisahan natin sa tire size mga brad. So this part, this is the width or yung lapad ng gulong in millimeters. Ito naman yung aspect ratio. This is the height as a percentage of the width. So if you want to compute for it, do the math. As a general rule, shorter sidewall means more grip and better handling. While yung thicker, thicker sidewall naman mga brad is more for comfortable ride. For some of the other tires such as big bikes, meron tayong uh, number and letter in the middle of this one. Uh, it's just an indicator of speed rating at saka yung tire construction, whether radial or bias play siya. Pero hindi na natin yun i-discuss sa video na to. Um, next one would be the wheel diameter. And the MC just stands for motorcycle tire. Itong next the combination naman ng number and getter, this is the weight and speed rating. So this one pertains to the upper limit weight or yung sagad as to what the tire can support. At itong getter naman stands for the speed or the max speed that the tire can go while supporting the maximum weight capacity. So each number and getter uh, is, uh, has a corresponding weight and speed. Uh, nandito yan sa chart mga brother so I'll share it with you dito sa screen natin for example sa gulong natin ngayon na 62p this just means that it can support 265 kilos at maximum weight at 150 kilometers per hour so yun yung ibig sabihin niya mga brad we also have yung rotational arrow just shows the direction kung saan paikot yung gulong natin Next mga brother is uh, isa sa mga importanteng code that you have to check when purchasing a new motorcycle. This is the manufacturer code and pinapakita sa atin ito kung kailan na gawa or na manufacture yung gulong natin. So this is a four digit code in which the four two, first two digits represents the week and the last two represents the year as to when the tire was manufactured. So in our example, this tire was manufactured in uh, 45th week of 2018. So, I would also advise you if you're buying a second-hand motorcycle, maaring maganda tingnan yung gulong, pero yung manufactured date niya is masyado ng luma. So, be sure to add that to your cost. So, ideally, when purchasing the tire, it should be within 5 years from the manufactured date to when you are buying the tire, mga brad. Ngayon, alam na natin yung mga motorcycle codes Para maiwasan natin na magpalit na magpalit ng gulong, syempre gastos yun. Uh, ito naman yung mga tips kung paano natin mapapanatili yung longevity or yung lifetime ng gulong natin. First, kailangan tama yung inflation or yung pressure na nasa gulong natin. Always check it before travel time or before traveling uh, the perfect or the recommended PSI for the tires are usually nasa swing arm. Sometimes if you have a compartment, naka-indicate yan kung ano yung tamang sukat ng hangin na ilalagay dapat natin sa mga motor natin. Next, if you are going to replace your tires, better go for proven branded ones kaysa sa mga generic na hindi natin alam kung ano talaga yung performance. It may cost you a little bit uh, more expensive, but definitely res less risk in terms of your safety. If in case you already use tire plugs or yung mga temporary remedies, yung mga pinapasak natin sa gulong kapag nagkabutas, uh, don't get used into using your motorcycle for longer rides kapag naka-tire plug ka na. Ibig sabihin nun, 
temporary lang talaga siya and you really need to replace your tires right away. And fourth one, this is up to you. Um, I would suggest go for matching tires. Ibig sabihin yung recommended specifications ng manufacturer as to what top type of tire goes in front and what type of tire goes uh, for the rear. Because front and rear tires are usually matching when it comes to patterns. It works hand in hand. Kaya hindi lang sa basta design may purpose. Kaya magkaparehas yung harap at saka yung gulong sa likod natin, mga brother. So, yan. Sana may natutunan kayo sa video natin ngayon. Maraming maraming salamat ulit sa panonood nyo. And salute! Stay safe, mga brother.